Hello, boys and girls. My name is Maura Logue, and I've been invited by Drum Home Heritage Society to tell you a few things about ancient sacred sites and royal places in the parish of Drum Home a long time ago. The first place we're going to talk about was an ancient sacred site that was at Raku near Ballantra. On the site today, there is a grey monument. And if you look to the right, on the N15, just about a mile after Ballantra across roads, you will see a grey monument high on a hillock. This monument is dedicated to honour the memory of a very famous saint that lived at Raku centuries ago. His name was Saint Asicus. We have to go back in time, well over a thousand years, to talk about Saint Asicus and to talk about the importance of Raku at that time. 400 AD is where we are in our history. 400 years since the birth of Jesus Christ. We know that St. Patrick came to Ireland in the 400s and Raku has special meaning in the St. Patrick story. Ballantra, Lahi and the surrounding areas were very different then than they are now. This place would have been wooded with strong, proud, hardwood trees. These trees would have been cleared to make grazing lands for cattle. The wood would have been used to make, to make dwellings, to make forts, and indeed to make monastic settlements. There were no towns or villages or schools there was no electricity or running water in 400 AD. But there were spring wells. And spring wells provided water that was essential for living. At Raku, there is a spring well. And St. Patrick blessed that well, and it became a holy well in the year 440 AD. St. Asicus was a close follower and friend of St. Patrick. St. Asicus was a very spiritual man and he was in charge of a monastic settlement at Raku. He also was a very gifted craftsman and he worked with gold and silver and precious metals and precious stones to make chalices and to make ornaments for St. Patrick's newly established churches. St. Patrick made him the Bishop of El Finn in County Roscommon. St. Asicus left Raku and he went to live there with his monks and he was very respected and loved by the people of El Finn. St. Asicus was a very humble man and sometimes he doubted if he were a proper leader. He had doubts about being Bishop of El Finn. And then something dark happened in his personal history. St. Asicus either told a lie or a lie was told of him and this caused him great concern. He became very remorseful because this lie sullied his reputation. He felt that he must make penance for this deed and he chose to self-exile from the community that he loved and he traveled all the way to Donegal Further on from Ballantra and Lahey, he went right up to West Donegal, where he became a hermit monk on Rachlin O'Byrne Island. And he also spent time as a hermit monk on Schlieve League along the Pilgrim's Way. 
A neighbour hermit monk on Schlieve League at that time was also a very spiritual man, a holy man. His name was A. de Brick. St. Asicus's monks missed him at Elphin, and after seven years, some of the younger monks went on a quest to find Asicus and to bring him home to Elphin. They found him on Schlieve League and they persuaded him to come back with them. Asicus was very frail and he was quite sickly because he was old at this stage. But he returned with the monks and when they came to Raku on the way home to Elphin, Poor Asicus got very weak, and sadly he passed away, surrounded by his beloved monks. Saint Asicus is buried at Raku, and many centuries later, the parishioners of Elfin asked permission of the landowner, Mr. Walls, to build a monument in honour of Saint Asicus. Mr. Walls granted them permission, and that is the monument that you see today as you travel on the N15 and look right. The spring well that Saint Patrick blessed in 440, was re-blessed by St. Columkill a hundred years later, because Columkill's monastic settlement was part of the history of Raku in the 500s AD. It's hard to understand what was there at that time, but we do know that this is a sacred site, and it, it has the story of St. Patrick, St. Asicus, and St. Columkill all connected together at this ancient place. If you'd like to view pictures of Raku and the monument that I spoke of, please visit Drum Home Heritage Society website and you will find more information there. So while you all become history detectives, I shall leave you and I shall see you soon again. Slán, August Banner.